Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Makes. Um, I am very happy to be with you guys today. I've been away for a few weeks. Um, many of you know that there was a death in my family. Um, my beautiful father um, passed on to everlasting life after a long, long battle with cancer. And uh, I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who has sent me messages and prayers and cards and flowers and uh, notes. And uh, I'm just completely touched by the love that this community shows to one another. So I just wanted to say that really quickly. And then um, just say that I'm happy to be creating again. Uh, today was the first time that I have created in a few weeks. So um, it felt good to, to play with paper and to do some stamping and coloring. And uh, what I'm sharing today is the My Creative Time After Party for their 133rd edition release. I, I am behind on sharing releases. I have um, a release from Lily of the Valley stamps I need to share, as well as from Peachy Keen. There are new products in their shops, as well as at My Creative Time. So I hope you guys will go and take a look if you haven't already. And I hope to catch up on videos over the course of the next week or so, um, as I'm able to. So um, anyway, today we're here to celebrate uh, My Creative Time's 13th birthday. Happy birthday to Emma, who celebrates her birthday in May, and to My Creative Time. This is their 13th year in business. Um, many of you know that I have been with them since the beginning. Um, the, one of the very first videos I ever made on YouTube was um, a video using one of her lollipop dies, her very first lollipop die. And uh, Emma is just a wonderful creative woman um, and a friend, and I'm so happy to celebrate with her and wish her many, many more years in business. And uh, I hope that you'll all celebrate with me. Use the code MAY2023, all caps, for 15% off through Sunday night. And uh, celebrate with me by getting some of these wonderful products. Um, she made this beautiful, fun birthday paper pad. Um, I worked on this with her a little bit. And I love this toss print um, that the paper pad opens with. But every single page is so beautiful. And uh, I just love all that she did. I love this little cake slice with the strawberry um, and that you'll see that in the die sets in a moment. She did this beautiful rainbow paper with the um, brown happy birthday writing. Here's some yellow gingham and yellow music papers. Um, there's this all over text print that has some birthday themed items in it. We go to this pink. She's got this adorable little um, streamer paper with confetti. Um, florals. It's just a wonderful paper pad. Here's the icon of the, the cake with the strawberry on top. And then, of course, these beautiful, beautiful cupcakes, which I'm sure you guys have seen all over this week from all the design team. And then she also did this gorgeous wood grain, and then it starts all over again. Um, and the whole paper pad is just wonderful. And uh, I had so much fun playing with everything. I love those cupcakes. So um, really quick, I'll show you all the, um, I'm just gonna do this super quick. So if you haven't already seen it, this is this um, Joyous Birthday uh, stamp set. And it, she did the cupcakes in two sizes so that you have a lot of flexibility between tags and different size cards that you might wanna make. And, uh, and then she has all of these wonderful sentiments that are birthday related. I love that she did a happy birthday to you with the music notes. And she includes music notes and different things in here for you to use on your projects. And it's a wonderful stamp set. And then she did the coordinating dies for it. You can see both of the cupcake dies. And then she did all of the dies for the various sentiments as well as the little birthday notes. Um, another product this month is this 3x3 three three square card die with the rounded corners. She has two different liners. There's a scallop and a zigzag. She's got the cake slice with the strawberry and then the different plates that you can use. And uh, this is just such a fun... I made three cards with that. I love that die set. Oh my gosh. It is the best. And uh, I also made a bunch of rosettes this weekend um, between Friday night and Saturday morning. And uh, I used one of them on a card that I'll show you, but I want to make a little banner using these. So um, fun to have new rosette dies. I love the little heart cut out in these. So, so cute. And uh, she also did banner dies this month. 
um, the stitched banner dies and the pretty scallop banner dies. And I love that she has three different sizes here. And it gives you a lot of flexibility. These smaller ones will fit three across on a card, um, on like the slimline size cards. And uh, you can use the bigger ones to do so many different things. And then the other thing that she came out with, which I absolutely adore, are, is this alphabet die set. And each of the little um, letters has little hearts in it. So you've got the liners for the backers if you want, and you can also use the letters by themselves. So just a wonderful alphabet die set. So um, let me really quickly, I'll dive into my projects. Uh, I use the alphabet die to spell out my nephew's name. Happy birthday, Cole, this says. Uh, his birthday is this week, so I wanted to do a, a card in his honor. So happy birthday to him. And uh, him and his beautiful wife, Addie, they just got married also. And uh, we've had a lot of events in the last few weeks in our family, and one of them was their wedding, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, so I wanted to get this birthday card in the mail to him this weekend. And uh, I love how this turned out. There's that adorable cupcake. And I die cut this from the paper pad. I added some additional Copic coloring to it. And uh, I just think this turned out so cute with his name on there. And then uh, there's the inside. And uh, I love how those letters um, die cut. It's so fun to be able to make words and letters, uh, people's names and stuff. You could also add string to these and turn them into balloons if you wanted to. And then here's this. This shows you that beautiful rosette that you can create um, and how cute it looks on the largest size of the banner. And I just added it to a card front because what fun to give this. And this would be really fun to give um, if you're giving a card in person um, with this dimensionality to it. So this one just says happy birthday to you. And then inside I did add some of the little um, music notes to the inside of the card. Um, so really, really easy, simple card there. And uh, it's so nice to have the little die cut pieces in the paper pads. And then this card is just really simple. I took the XOXO border dies. I cut the largest one in white, and then I cut that beautiful wood grain um, pattern paper that has all the colors of the collection in it um, out of a smaller XOXO border die. And then I added the cake, the cupcake as the focal point with a little bit of stickles diamond so this is what I used on it to make it sparkle like that and uh, inside I just added the happy birthday to you and then on the back I stamped the stamp and colored it in so just a very very simple elegant card I love doing white cards especially in summertime it just looks so fresh and crisp and then I did another one where I used the beautiful rainbow paper with the happy birthday to you and uh, this is all in browns, and uh, I did the chocolate cupcake. I added some coloring to it, and then I did the wishing you a joyous birthday, which I die cut with the dies that come with that stamp set. And uh, you can see that I embossed the background with some hearts, and I did put some stickles diamond on the heart so the whole card sparkles when you move it. And then I have not decorated the inside of this one yet. I need to finish this card off. But I also had to play with the little card die and this is such a fun little die set here you can see how i use the liner on the inside and it says wishing you a joyous birthday i use the middle size um, banner on this and, and it fits perfectly on this little card and uh, that smaller cupcake die fits um, die size fits uh, these middle size banners perfectly and i just added a little bit of stickles on here just to have the whole thing pick up some little sparkle. So there's one of the little cards. And then I did another one side. This one opens top to bottom, if you will. And then I did one where it's opening sideways, like so. And this one I, I used the blue gingham or the turquoise colored gingham, the pink pattern with the little music notes going through it, if you can see that. Uh, the Littler Cupcake and then Birthday Wishes. And these little cake plates turn out so cute when you die cut them. And then it says, Celebrating the Blessing You Are and the Joy You Bring. So another cute little card. And you, you of course, can use Emma's envelope dies to tuck these little cards in. She has an envelope die that fits them perfectly. And then you have this little one. This uses that Toss Print Cake Paper, which I just love. And, uh, and then the little cake with the strawberry on top. And uh, I think these turn out so cute. I used that zigzag uh, pattern in the background and I did emboss it 
with a heart embossing folder. And then it says birthday wishes on the inside. So I love how these little cards turn out and they are so quick to make, especially if you use the die cuts in the paper pad. You can pull a set of cards together and then you know give three or four of these with envelopes as a gift to someone who's celebrating their birthday. So um, I just had so much fun with this whole collection, Emma. I wish you many, many more prosperous years in business. And most importantly, I just thank you for your friendship and for making create, creating so much fun for all of us that love your products. So I hope you guys will shop the My Creative Time uh, sale this weekend and use her code again, um, May 2023 is the discount code for 15% off. Tell her that Jill sent you from the My Creative Time after party, okay? Um, I wanna wish everybody a wonderful, happy Saturday morning. Uh, enjoy the weekend, choose joy, and uh, I cannot wait to see what everybody's creating. I'm gonna have some time this weekend to relax and be able to see what everybody has been up to. So uh, I wish you all joy, choose joy, be happy, and again, Thank you for your support of my family, for your prayers and your well wishes and messages and cards. So blessings and hugs. I'll be back with you again soon to share more crafty fun. Bye now.